Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision and VR and this auto switch screen. As you can see, the NVR is changing from camera one, two, three, and four automatically. So let's learn how to do that, all right? So the first thing you have to take in consideration is the connection of the camera. Let me just show here uh, what I mean by that. If I come back here to mood screen and see off the camera at the same time, I can come here and stop the auto switching, okay? And then let me just explain that I have four different cameras. So the idea is to change from camera one, two, three, and four automatically, but you need to take in consideration that this camera here is cable connected. So I have a network cable connecting directly from the camera to the router, the same router that uh, NVR is connected to. As you can see, I'm not connecting directly to the NVR here. The cameras are connecting to the router and the router is connected to this NVR as well. So that way I have the cameras here on the screen. And the first one is connected via cable. It's a high vision camera, so it's faster. The second one, it's a axis camera connected via cable as well. So a little bit slower than the first one. And then I have real link and real link connected via Wi-Fi with the own VIF protocol. So own VIF protocol and Wi-Fi uh, takes the camera a little bit longer to load, right? So let me just show you guys. So when I double click here, I can just right click and select here auto switch. And then the camera start like loading the first camera. After five seconds, it load, loads the second one. And the third one is gonna load after five seconds. You see, it takes a while, a little back black screen there. And then the camera comes because it's on with Wi-Fi connected, Wi-Fi. And here you see the fourth camera takes a while and it just jumped to the first camera. So. I supposed to fix the fourth camera and make it faster. Otherwise, I'm not gonna see it here, right? So, uh, what I have to do to to enable this auto switch is coming to the menu. So here's the fourth camera. Let me just disable here. Stop auto switching. And then I come here to menu. Just draw my pattern here so I can log into the NVR and configuration. You need to come here to live view, and here you have the dwell time. Right now it's five seconds. At first it could be like this, no switching or in two by two here. So you have four cameras instead of one. Let me just apply here so you can see the way it usually comes by default on the NVR. So if it come like this, when I try to enable here auto switch, it says that's not possible. Here you see with the message, please set dwell time in live view, settings in uh, settings menu and try again. So I hit OK. That's what I have to do. Come here, right click, menu, configuration, live view. Come here and change. Instead of showing like a matrix with two by two, I just come to show one by one, which means one camera per screen. And here, instead of no switch, I'm going to change to five seconds, right? You can choose 10, 20, whatever you want. If your camera takes longer to load, you can choose here 10 seconds right? That's my case. Okay. Uh, either I fix the problem with the camera uh, being connected via Wi-Fi, via OneVIF protocol, or change the time here so at least I can see the camera. Let's leave here with 10 seconds. Hit apply, back, exit, and now I right click and I come here to stop switch and start switch again. Okay, so now I have 10 seconds on the camera number one and after that it's going to change to the camera number two. Here we go, camera number two, 10 seconds more, I go to the camera number three. That's better because if the camera number three takes a little while to load, I still can see it here. You see, black screen, takes a while to load, and I still have some seconds, and here we go. I can see the camera number three. I'm considering here that's connected via Wi-Fi and using the own VIF protocol, and here comes the fourth camera. Takes a while to load, and here we go. I see the fourth camera there. So it's basically working. And if you want to stop this, you just need to right click and come here to stop auto switch. And then it's working. And you can also use multi-screen if you want to, if you have like more than um, four cameras, that's not the case here. If you have like an NVR with, let's say 16 camera, then you can 
see four camera at a time. So you show the four, the, the first four camera, and then you change, you switch to the next fourth camera and keep going like this, okay? So it works pretty fine, all right? And I hope you can use this information to set up your NVR, okay? And don't forget guys, subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next video.